Let me share a story with you about life in many lakes in Ontario. Once upon a time, in the happy kingdom of Water Pond, lived Nemo, Dory, and Sam. One day, these evil creatures called the Pyros found their way into the kingdom through a small hidden stream that connected directly to the kingdom. The Pyros found their lord, Shadow, the algae hidden in the kingdom, plotting to take over. So the Pyros helped Shadow to become more evil, more powerful, and a lot bigger. Slowly, Shadow, the algae, blocked all the sunlight from reaching the kingdom, causing eternal darkness. Sam could not handle the separation from the sunlight and died. Igor, the bacteria, fed on Sam's body. In this process, Igor also consumed all the oxygen from the kingdom. Slowly, over time, due to sadness and lack of oxygen, one day, Nemo and Dory also died. This sad story describes a process called algal bloom, which means rapid increase of algae population in our water bodies, such as ponds or lakes, due to high amounts of nutrients, such as phosphorus. And the evil creatures in the story, the pyros, represents phosphorus. Now, there are many ways for phosphorus to get into our water systems, one of which is through septic systems. Septic systems are these on-site, underground, wastewater treatment facilities. And for any of you that live in rural areas, you probably have a septic system on your property because they're commonly found in uh, households that are not connected to a municipal wastewater treatment facility. However, if these septics fail to work, they can release a lot of harmful bacteria, such as E. coli, and nutrients, such as phosphorus, into our water bodies. And then the released phosphorus, or the pyros, can then, go on, can then go on to kill Nemo, Dory, and Sam. In 2015 alone, 78 tons of phosphorus was released into Lake Simcoe. And unfortunately, we have no idea where all these septic systems are. So, to tackle all these enemy troops, I have built a computer model that automatically tells us the locations of these septic systems. The output of this model are little points on a map that represent these septic systems. My research also determines the amount of phosphorus, or pyros, that are being released into, sep into Lake Simcoe from these identified septic systems. This work would truly allow us to prevent excessive amount of phosphorus from going into our fresh source of drinking water, and it would also help save lives of many other Nemos, Sams, and Dories that are present not only in Lake Simcoe, but also across Ontario. Thank you.